Mr Speaker, it's funny, I actually agree with uh, the member Rajan Prasad, and I'll talk about that, but really um, in the first and second speeches I have, uh, readings I should say, I have taken the opportunity to speak uh, on the domestic violence and care of children uh, issues in this bill, and uh, it's a very worthy uh, bill that tidies up a lot of things and makes advances in relation to domestic violence and the care of children in this country. But I do want to, it really as Rajan Prasad, the member, has focused on the issue of adoption. And I've talked in this House uh, previously uh, about the issues of child trafficking, the massive uh, issues involving many millions of children in this world of ours. We think of it as being an issue uh, in the third world, and, uh, and, and that's, that's true. But uh, worryingly, uh, if you, you read a bit about it, or if we read a bit about this, uh, we see that it's, that it's also an issue uh, in, in wealthier nations as well. And, uh, and so we're not being complacent about that, and we address that and meet our international obligations through this bill. But I agree with Rajan Basad that that a future government, this one's been exceptionally busy in the justice field, will need to uh, overhaul and modernise the adoption legislation. I think basic demographics really um, uh, answer or, or give, give us a picture of what has happened in this area. If we go back to the 40s, 50s and 60s, 50s and 60s certainly there was a, a baby boom on there were thousands of adoptions a year in this country. And then for a, a variety of, no doubt, complex regions, reasons, contraception, of course, uh, also a word that uh, we probably don't talk about much in this House, but abortion, uh, and, and a variety of other factors have meant that today, uh, in 2011, we're really looking at something like 100 adoptions a year in this country. And so I do think, uh, as Rajan Prasad has said, we do need to modernise the law. We need to have a good look at that because I, I do think there will be many more parents than just 100 in this country, or prospective parents, I should say, who do want to adopt. And so just as in this bill we are looking at our international obligations and we are, being, we, we are placing a bulwark, a, a protective measure against um, uh, illegitimate adoptions, um, exploitative adoptions, so too we, we may need to look at freeing up adoptions and doing more so that uh, prospective good parents can adopt in this country, potentially actually can adopt uh, children from overseas. And I don't, wouldn't claim to know a lot about the laws in that area, but these are some of the controversial, complex issues that a future parliament is going to uh, have to address. Of course, on the issue of adoption, it often gets reduced down to simply uh, an issue of gay adoption. And I, I accept that that's uh, one that will probably need to be broached and looked at with some seriousness. But really what I'm trying to say in this contribution is that the issues are much more than that, and modernisation of really all of the legislation will be required. So with those few thoughts, Mr Speaker... It's good to see this bill is going to pass today. It's a worthy bill that really does advance things uh, in a, a number of respects in relation to domestic violence, care of children and adoption laws in this country. Mr Speaker. Lewis Wall. Kia ora, Mr Speaker. Uh, it is my pleasure to speak.